Greetings, hello, and welcome, people. We are going to be in the last hope, but it's actually last hope. Last time I thought one was last hope, but actually it turns out we're in a best of nine, not a best of seven. So VP is going to be in TQ. TQ gets slammed. Is right now the last hope and savior. He's the champion of our good old Think Quick peoples against VP's VP Suppy. There's a lot of saying there's VP and TQ with various letters, and it's like, oh my god. And so now I probably said OMG for that for that little joke, but. That bad casterness aside, VP Suppy has been amazing, seriously amazing. He has won all four games. He actually took down uh, Get Slammed, who was the one who won the first two games for TQ. Um, he played against. Uh, he played a. I want to say. Was it? I think it might have been a. Um, it was a PVZ on Zunlaga Caverns that uh, Suppy beat out uh, Slamped in, where Slamped went for a one-gate expand. Suppy went for a really good Zerging run by and just basically pressured Slamped. And when Slamped moved his army out, he got caught completely out of position. Um, wasn't able to get, uh, was, get, it was not able to get forces out in time to deal with the banelings that just decimated the entire count of uh, centuries, and that was it for Get Slammed. That was how their first game in this clan war went, and we'll see how the second game goes. You notice the map is GSL Talium Altar, but, 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 it is the old and greedy Talium Altar that has all of these resources. It is both gas geysers and all eight of these mineral patches. This is so, so solid. And right now, in these positions, this could be absolutely amazing for Suppy. Suppy could be in a beautiful, beautiful spot. However, on the flip side, um, Gessen might also be able to utilize this to his expansion, to this hit. I'm speaking too fast. I need to calm down. I have not enough sleep or energy to go through this quickly. But Slamped is in a really good spot. Also, if he tries to utilize this for a fast third base, which he might be going for, because look at this Nexus first, and then he throws down a Gateway. Interesting. Looking back in here, though, um, looks like Subby's playing it very, very safe, and uh, going for a Pool and then uh, Extractor. Although, actually, it was an Extractor, then Pool. Uh, looks like it's a little bit slightly inefficient speeding opener. I was waiting for him to get down his own Nexus, but we see uh, in here the Forge being thrown down for Slamped. The f Cannons might not be up in time. You might be forced to wall off preemptively with a pylon or a gateway, and there is the pylon. So you have a complete wall, or actually, it's not a complete wall. A zealot can fit through this little area, and a zergen can too. That means. We'll see, he walls it off with um, with uh, probably gonna be the zealot. Uh, we do have lings. No lings on the way. It's just straight up hatchery going down. So slams greedus might immediately be a. Uh, uh, pay off for his favor. Um, he does run a throwing can in that hole. Now, Suppy had to play this safe because it's a random uh, player that he's playing up against. So, guess Slamp. Actually, interesting enough, they spawned as the exact same matchup as they did before. But, Slamp is going to be an immediate advantage economically because he's able to get away with a free Nexus first because of the fact that Suppy um, had to play as if a Zerg was a possibility, forcing the speedling opener. We'll see exactly how it will uh, play off as um, Get Slam's macro is really quite amazing. He is so good at this game. Grand Masters, random player, knows every matchup, every race, and he knows them well. We do see Seven Nights Core is actually about to complete. Um, whoops, we have a fast. Is that a second gas? Looks like a second gas as uh, Slam has not thrown down uh, his gas at his main base, just the first one. Alright, so now uh, Chrono boosting out the probes. You can see the worker count is vastly in favor of Get Slam right now. 25 to 19 with a better distribution because look at this. The hatch is only just now finishing for Suppy. So he is behind, but now he's going to have the larva out and he's going to have this uh, queen uh, spawn larva. He actually hasn't spread any creep at all. Um, he's just now working on getting out his second queen. And there's the larva as it uh, pops off. Uh, queen has vomited larva into this hatchery. Looking around here, we have a few lings outside of the base from Slammed. We're going to try to see exactly what's going on and keep tabs. Alright, so now, uh, Seven Nights Core is there. Warp research in the warp gate. Looking to see what the follow-up is going to be. Stargate. Phoenixes or Voidraids are coming out for Get Slammed. Um, are we seeing any... Wait a second. He might be going for the White Rod PVZ. That is just so much fun to see. Um... Though he's throwing down, oh my god, he might be going pure air units. He might not be getting a single warp gate unit, but he is researching the warp gate. Might just be a precaution for the defense. You do see another gateway here in this wall. Going to try and protect against any form of bandling bust. But this photon can actually get a free zergling kill. 
Um, however, I doubt Bentley was going to be what's going to play because we see Suppy being very, very happy to take this uh, gold. Not gold. Why am I saying it's gold? It's basically a gold in comparison to the new GSL Towering Altar that they have that has a de decreased resources. However, really, in all honesty, it's not a gold because it's blue. So, my foolishness aside, Slant is not going for the pure gateway unit account. He, uh, pure Stargate unit. I'm just failing all over the place right now. And I'm even failing the fact that, uh, Suppy is red and not purple. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that be for now. Let's kind of, I don't know, fuck that. Uh, uh, screw that, it's bothering me. Um, oops, my bad. Now, um, gonna continue moving on as, uh, this Phoenix is nice. So, Slant's getting a lot of Phoenixes. God, I'm so out of this right now. This is really bad. Um,. So now, uh, this, uh, Phoenixes are gonna be producing a lot of harassing will be able to happen, but a lot of pressure onto these overlords. We're looking back in here, we are seeing, uh, in production, nothing in the mineral lines, no defense in the mineral line, just out of front here, we're seeing spine crawler and a spore crawler, so Suppy is playing in defense of possible DTs, which are not gonna be happening, um, but it's justifiable fear. As we do see that there are pylons uh, around for the warping in outside this wall, and then you just go ahead and start harassing. But with these uh, spine cars and sword cars in there, this is going to be um, really, really um, interesting to see how it plays out. As Slam's macro is going to be pretty solid, it's actually ahead of the Zerg right now. We'll see exactly what's happening. There's the harassment happening. Um, a couple of drones are falling. Uh, you can see he's actually just ignoring the queen. They just do not do a big chunk of damage. And so Slam's getting a free. Oh, is he lift off that queen? Does he not have the? Oh, he does have the energy too. It seems. But oh, there is uh, more uh, phoenixes coming in by the spore callers. We're gonna go ahead and start attacking these phoenixes really effectively. All right, and soon let's look at this and see that uh, one has lost nine health and everything else is completely full. So uh, Slam is choosing to use phoenixes very, very effectively. I should go ahead and start taking out. Overlord, seeing one Overlord over there um, that could easily be uh, killed. The Sam can actually come. No, it's not gonna come across it. That's unfortunate. Just go ahead and do a little more scouting. That'll be great. And there he finds it. Three Overlord. So uh, Subby is supply blocked right now, and he actually has three Overlords in production right now. He's getting out a Hydra. This is a beautiful play on this map. Hydras are slow unless they're on creep. So in order to be able to make use of um, to make use of these uh, phoenixes so so well, he's forcing the Hydras to be able to get out the uh, Colossi in time and possibly go for a death ball. Alright. And I can't even click on the Phoenixes. No! No, stupid left hand, do this. Phoenixes! I got some of them. I'll go with that. I got some of them. And now I stop moving. Yes. So six Phoenixes are gonna run around and do some rest and they don't finish off that overlord. Okay, so hopefully Slam Slam, please realize that you didn't cause the overlord. It literally has 14 health left. There we go. And now it falls down. Thank you very much for Slams. Slams also going for a fast third at this time and almost losing that uh, crow, but one more hit would have gone down, but that is not going to be the case. Slammed is now getting up a fairly strong ground army against all this. He is ahead in the food count. The working count is actually in favor of Suppy, though, but not by much. You definitely want to have a burst to infest a lot in defenses right now. All these uh, hydras are going to be coming along the way. It's in group spines along the way, along, along. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I've not been able to sleep at all lately. His shoulders are making it really hard to sleep, and you are seeing the fruits of my labors just going to withering and death. Unfortunately, um, yeah. So right now we're seeing all these uh, Phoenix is going to run around. Seven are still on the field. You have to do a little bit of harassing. They might actually be able. Oh, I got getting misclicking. So there are a couple of spawn cars out there that help, um, or score cars, to help defend against this. So right now this obelisk is going to really serve to not be a defense or deterrence as uh, an overlord does get sent. So uh, phoenixes are doing a great job at harassing. Units lost out of Oh my god. Um, Slam has not lost a single Phoenix this entire game. You can see the units lost that is very much in favor of him in uh, pretty much every way possible as six drones been taken out versus one probe. All of these, uh, the Nexus are going to continue to produce a lot. So he slammed his transfer down a few probes, not too many. He's still got fairly good saturation in both his main and his natural expansion, so his income is definitely going to be healthy. See, so he's a little bit behind, but um, with 68 drones out, this is really not surprising, um, as Subbius has a better distribution of them throughout his bases. Uh, look around here, though. It looks like, uh, there we go. There the ro Robo get out the... Um, Double Robo is coming out with a good time. When this Robo finishes, it'll be able to get out double Colossi and then uh, 
do a ton of damage that way. Those slams uh, resources are a little bit low. Uh, if he had uh, stockpiled, he'd be able to get uh, Xanthorm Lance and Colossi at the exact same time. As of right now, though, that will not be able to be done. One Colossus can come out if he's going to go for, uh, ahead and emphasize that. Um, we've seen Simmer is finishing now at the third base, and they need to get that mining. So yeah, it's very, very uh, now gas-heavy build from him. There is the first Colossus going down. Will he emphasize the uh, Sentinel Lance or get the higher Colossus count? He is getting up the higher Colossus count. However, without extending the lance, these hydras are going to be able to decimate the um, the uh, colossal. You can see the range of the upgraded hydras is six. That is identical to the range of the uh, colossi when they don't have extending the lance. But there we have extending the lance starting for uh, the colossi and uh, chrono boosting out the colossi themselves. Not the extending the lance going to help him defend the th possibly the fear the colossi will allow him to basically stay alive until he feels ready to push out. Um, these uh, Stargates are not producing Void Rays, so the Death Ball could be a very easy transition for um, TSM right now, but it doesn't seem like he wants to do the Death Ball. It seems like he's emphasizing just the Stalkers and the Phoenixes for it. Uh, and Phoenixes are not that good against Corruptors, and the Corruptors obviously wreck Colossi. Fourth base is now going down for Suppy um, for a very strong macro game. We see that these guys are pretty much identical in food count right now. You can see 174 to 165 uh, just uh, creeped up. It used to be 164 to 165. But now the macro is just popping out. We got all these Ling Roach. Wow, and Queens actually in this mix too. We saw a little bit of transfusing it seems. A couple Queens out. But 16 Hydras, 2 Queens, and a whole lot of Zerglings are in this mix. Alright. Sam's now getting out a fair amount of, um, of Zealous, interestingly enough, and he's got the plus three. Oh, I completely missed the upgrades. Plus three is about to finish. This is hugely damaging. Um, three col four Colossus with, uh, plus three against the, uh, one care base and one melee upgrades and, uh, one ranged upgrades is going to be very bad, but Bailey Bombs are in these overlords. They are ready to drop them on the army. However, I don't know if they're going to be able to survive with the amount of Stalkers that are in this. If, um... If uh, Gessam can go ahead and just kite and not get hit by the fungal growths, that could be in Gessam's favor. But with solid fungal growth thing and good bailing bombs, then uh, Gessam might be in a little bit of a rough spot. But the uh, Phoenixes could help with this if they try and lift off something. But Gessam has got to see these overlords and realize that it is going to be drop play. And Bane is going to be morphing right now, but Slammed is getting closer and closer to moving in, but he's not going to. Alright, so all these Bane's could actually um, go ahead and complete. Will they load up to more over or not? Remains to be seen. Phoenixes are uh, staying forward, but they gotta be careful of the Hydras. So uh, continue to move in. This Phoenixes are just testing the waters. Uh, there is gonna be oh, look at the roasting happening on everything. So much damage is being done, um, and oh, the fungal growth is huge. Bands are gonna come in and oh, they're gonna pop on everything. Explosions, 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 and guess Slant has now just lost basically his entire army, losing Phoenixes, looking up Stalker to try and target down the Overlords it seems, but there's two Colossi still alive, going to do as much damage as they can against these Hydras and Infested Terrans, so guess Slant, he uh, took a lot of damage, but with the Colossi still alive, this might be exactly what he needs, trying to kite off the... Um, there we go, killing those off uh, very efficiently, but this pylon's along for a lot of reinforcing. You can see this pro to retreat, possibly expand in the middle right. Um, Guess Slammed is really holding on. You can see he's got Colossus on the way, more and more Colossi. Uh, there is Get Slammed. He's not going to be able to get down the Nexus. Oh, that's unfortunate. This uh, one Ling is doing a great job. 2-2 two, two upgrades are now out. There's a lot of damage coming out of these um, Banelings and Lings. So it looks like uh, Suppy's really emphasizing Ling, Baneling, and Fester. Uh, very, very good if you can get the surrounds and all that, but with uh, Get Slam's Colossus count with a plus three attack, it could be very, very dicey. So we're having, wait, where does this Colossus come from? Is there another Robo up at the top or something? No, it's a weird pattern of um, movement, it seems. But now Get Slammed has three Colossi with uh, two, are these two more Colossus? He has two more Colossus coming in. Once he gets those uh, second uh, Colossi out, he should actually push. That's not English. Oh my god. Alright, now Slam's actually ahead in the food count. He needs to start cutting, but no, Fungal Gold is happening. He's going to target down the Overlords. There are not that many Banelings out though. Um, so he's going to be able to do a lot of damage with the Colossi and the Banelings do get taken out. And it looks like uh, Suppy is actually now behind uh, this ball of 
death coming out of, um, God, this is amazing. Zell is actually doing a very good bit of damage against those links. All those things are morphing, but there's a huge fungal growth against all those as more fungal growth happening. The Colossi should be able to take out the balance as they move in. There we go. See all the green explosions going to prevent much from happening. And blinking back, saving the stalkers. That is huge. Glad uh, Slam is playing so, so, so well. Oh my god, he's just playing incredibly solidly. Banlings are just not going well right now for Suppy. This expansion list is going to fall. The, he could actually just blink back the Stalkers and just um, utilize Colossi to siege and attack. Yup, that's going to be really, really solid. This entire time we're seeing a double expand coming out of these left bases. So solid by Suppy trying to keep up his economy, but Slam is looking to be in an incredible position right now. Um, Phoenixes are even still, I don't know how the Phoenixes are still alive, but they've been wailing on the Overlords, doing what they can, and Guess Slant is even about to have his next armor upgrade to get the plus two armor out. Let's continue to come in here as uh, these oh, drones are trying to distance mine, but uh, Suppy, he's got to play from behind. He's got his food count basically doubled right now. Slant is max. There's a queen getting lifted off, but Spore Crawler is actually killing off that uh, Phoenix. And, uh, wow, uh, Slamp is now just decimating everything. There's an effect going down. More Colossi are coming in. And look at this stream of Stalker reinforcements. This is going to be very, very, very difficult for us to deal with. See, all these things in here, we're seeing a uh, transfer of drones, it seems, to this top left. Trying to get the economy up, even though he's losing bases. Uh, this base is basically mined out anyway, so it's not a huge loss for uh, Suppy. But losing the gas income is a little bit bad. This base loss though is huge. You can see he's got no extractors at these bases. The income is showing that there's just not as much gas coming in for Suppy as there is for Get Slammed, and it is paying off for Slam. There is going to be a lot. Oh, Balins are not able to do it. They're just not exploding on units. See, huge gas investment is not paying off, and Slammed is going to get called the G. Oh, CG is being called by Suppy. So Slammed. Now is that 1-1 against Suppy, but he brings the series to 3-4, and we're we'll going to see if he can get another two kills to get the win for TQ.